Hey yo, what is up? My name is Ishan. You're probably busy, which is perfect, because on this channel, we'd like to keep things sweet and short. No fluff, just quick and to the point. So in the next few minutes, we're going to be talking about the top three stocks to buy. And these aren't your generic Apple, Amazon that everyone keeps talking about. Like, oh, buy Apple, buy Facebook. No, those stocks are boring. Everyone's talking about that. We're talking about some stocks you've never heard of that have insane growth ahead. So make sure you've subscribed because we only make short and value-packed videos on this channel we don't make 10 20 minute long boring videos and YouTube doesn't really like these short videos they want you to make 10 minute videos because that helps them but I'm helping you with these short videos so make sure you subscribe it really helps me out and let's clock in <laughs> So just before we jump into the video, I just want to mention that the last month's top five stocks are linked down below if you want to check it out. And there's another stock that we picked, which is also currently up over 50% since we made the video. Anyways, so stock number one is Domo stock. Currently trading at $35 a share, Domo is a company that specializes in business intelligence tools and data visualization. That basically means whatever data a company has, whether that be product sales or team performance, Domo provides a nice looking charts and graphs to basically help people visualize all that data. Additionally, they let you use the data by creating predictive models using AI to forecast and predict things like what future sales might look like. And their software even applies algorithms and machine learning to analyze that data for any problems and if they are it will automatically alert users on any device and they can fix it right away so especially in a world where big data spending was more than 180 billion dollars in 2019 globally and every business is becoming more data focused and data driven domo is in a great position to continue to build their customer base and make a whole lot of money and this is already shown by their impressive client base, which includes Cisco, eBay, ESPN, DHL, Zillow, Dell, and the list just goes on and on. Taking a look at Domo's financials, each quarter they're currently growing at a close to 20% year over year, and the most impressive was their drastic decrease in losses. They lost 88 cents compared to $1.32 the year ago, mostly because of operating costs being cut. But despite that, revenue grew nicely, which is a huge positive and good sign. As I mentioned, with the growth of big data, 5G, and this huge overall push to data, 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 Domo is in the right position to make a lot of money down the line. And the fact that it's trading at a price sales of only 4.8 makes it significantly undervalued to its other peers in the software category, trading at price to sales ratios of over 10 and above. So Domo is our first stock. Stock number two is Atlassian. This is probably the stock I'm most excited to talk about. This is a company that most of you might have heard of and they're an Australian company that develops products for software development, project management, and content management. Atlassian was also a leader in Gartner's 2020 Magic Quadrant for enterprise agile planning tools. Their most popular software is Jira, where basically you can create business plans, track what's being done, and what needs to be completed. You can also use Jira to see shipping orders, releasing them, and tracking them. And this is really popular because if you think about it every business team needs a tool that they can track what's being done and what needs to be completed they have other tools like bitbucket which helps teams create and share coding work trello which adds a visual component to keep track of who is working on what and how far along they are on it and these products are killing it hold up but what's even crazier is at the end of fiscal 2016 atlassian had about 61,000 customers two and a half years later that number has almost Almost double to 138,000 customers as of 2019 fiscal year. But what no one talks about is Atlassian's marketplace. It's a place for third party developers to create tools on Atlassian's platform, which is exclusive to only Atlassian customers. It started in 2012 and crossed $250 million in annual sales in 2017. Six quarters later, it crossed $500 million in total. And last quarter, it crossed a lifetime of $1 billion in revenue. This was huge and such a smart decision because basically they're not even doing anything. They're just sitting back, letting the third party developers create it, and they're just making the money. It's like their own app store. Taking a look at their financial.
financials. While they aren't profitable yet, revenue's been growing at a 30% growth rate consistently and with the growth of IT to continue and more and more businesses looking to automate tasks and tracking, Adflashion will continue to see a higher revenue and a higher stock price. Whoa, I just realized my screen had turned off, my bad. So the last and final stock is EPAM stock. The stock has been absolutely killing it and will continue to for reasons we'll discuss. EPAM is a company that specializes in product development, digital platform engineering, and digital and product design agency. Or in less fancy terms, they are a consultancy that specializes in helping their clients adopt and build different technologies that will help them grow. The global software consulting market was valued at $157 billion in 2017 and is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of over 11.8% from 2018 to 2025. They offer solutions to over 120 Fortune 1000 companies in fields from finance, retail, to even travel. And the reason the stock has been soaring is simply because technology is only growing and will continue to grow. Till technology exists, till software exists, EPAM will exist. Because as long as there's new technology coming out, EPAM will exist to help serve their clientele, adopt these new technologies, and stay competitive. And especially due to the pandemic, the online push has been increasing more and more, and a lot of companies have been facing technological problems and that's exactly where EPAM has stepped up. Currently revenue is growing at over 20% every quarter consistently and they are profitable with EPS consistently growing as well showing higher margins and net income. With the current state of the world and the fact that let's be honest technology is the future is only going to continue and continue to grow as I mentioned with big data, 5G, everything going into place companies are going to need help with setting up that technology. They're going to need help to stay competitive and EPAM as a result is only going to continue to build their clientele. So EPAM is our last stock that is perfect for buying on the dip. So make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 1000 subscribers. We're almost there. And this video was value packed, super short, straight to the point. And so make sure you subscribe, like, and let me know down below what stocks you plan to buy on the dip. Do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Clocking out for now. Take it easy. Peace. Yeah.